Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the reinforcing requirement for minimum sagging case. Okay, so as we said in the previous video, for the minimum sagging, we find a formula in the code. It's given in 8.1.6.1. This is a formula, just to show you. 8.1.6.1, we have this formula over here. I'm just going to talk outside the code what this is. Now, this P subscript E term is any pre-stressing. Now in our um, structure, we're not going to be having any pre-stressing, so that's straight away we're going to go to zero. So we're going to be left with 1.2 outside of Z F C T dot F dash. Now Z is the section modulus, so the section modulus is I on Y and F C T F dash. So we're going to go ahead and find all these values. Now we know the I value, we've seen that in previous videos where we found that. We found the I value of our section to be 1.56 times 10 to the 10. So that was the I value. So 1.56 times 10 to the 10. And Y, so what's Y? Y is the distance from the centroid to where we're interested in. So if I draw a little picture, if this is our section, Okay, so here's the bars that we're going to be looking at in the stirrups. So when we're looking at sagging, let's put in our centroid first of all. So our centroid also we found in the previous videos to be 250.4. So the centroid is at 250.4. We know the total depth of our beam is 650. So this Y is the distance from the centroid to the point we're interested in. Now, because we're looking at the sagging case, so when it sags, we're looking at the bottom. Okay, we're always looking at the tension, where the tension is. So when it's sagging, we wanna be, we wanna be finding this distance in here. We wanna know the distance from the centroid to that edge there, because when it's sagging, that edge is in tension, okay? So that distance is gonna be the total depth of 650 